गुड इवनिंग कैन यू हियर मी All right, good. So welcome back. Today is June 4th, 2020. How was your day today? It was very good. Okay, did you do? Despite I stayed at home all day, uh, taking a nap. <laughs> or it has been raining almost all day. Yeah. Uh, where are you again? What part of El Salvador? Santana. San Ramon. Oh, San Ramon. San Ramon. Yeah. Lourdes yeah. has has been raining, but not that much. It's being really light. Seriously. Yeah, so it, it has. Hello? So it hasn't been that strong. Early in the morning, it was, it was raining a lot. Then it stopped in, you know, on and off. But we'll see what happens. Yeah. All right. In so, my case, I, I, I live in in the volcano. Okay. Yes, it is kind of dangerous here. Yes. It has been, or there has been uh, a lot of ground slider. Yep. Slide. Yeah, ground slides. Yeah. yeah. Do you remember um, Montevideo in 1982, I think? Maybe you, you, oh. you're you're too young for that yeah just survived uh, one house yeah the pink house that time no. yeah the pink uh, yes yes uh-huh yep how old are you mike 33 years old okay 33 yeah. okay so because i was like 11 years old when that tragedy happened so maybe you heard your parents told you. In that time, I think the, that I was I wasn't born. Wh when were you born? What year? Yeah. In nineteen eighty-seven. Oh yeah, yeah. So maybe if you know, it's because uh, maybe your parents told you, or your family, or your friends. Yeah, my per my father-in-law has told me about it. Right, right. Yeah, because I was like 11 or yeah. 12 years old when that happened. Yep. I so, think so. Yeah, all right. Good, so um, welcome back. It's June 4th, 2020. Do you guys remember what we did yesterday, what we spoke about? Uh, Passive voice in simple present. Yes, passive voice in the simple present. Now, uh, when we talk about the passive voice, what are the two components that are mandatory in the sentence? The verb to be and the past participle. Good. You always need to use verb to be and the form of the verb is going to be past participle. That is correct. And what is the function of the passive voice? Change the focus on a sentence. Right. And, and, and what is the focus exactly? Um, Anybody? Julius? Uh-huh. Change the main role in the... In the who do the action right so when when you um when you use passive voice 
the person responsible for the action is not relevant. However, in some cases, uh, books, teachers, or, or anywhere you are, if they ask you to include who's responsible for the action, then you need to mention it. And that's when you use by. And you use by, right. Good, very good. Um, what else did we talk about? What were the other topics we discussed yesterday? We were doing the exercises. Okay, which exercise? Um, passive boy in negative and positive. Right, right. Yeah, so whenever you're using the passive voice, whether the information is positive, negative, or question form, uh, verb to be is always there, and the past participle of the verb is always there as well. So that is something like mandatory. Yep. Yeah. Questions or comments about passive voice? No. No. Okay, no. so let's uh let me show you um an image similar to the one we had yesterday. Okay, do you see the the exercises there? Yeah. Okay. So yep. What do we have on the left side? Mm. Active. Active, exactly. Now, what's the difference between active and passive? Who remembers that? Active. We don't mention that. Okay. Exactly. When you're, when you're using active, you give the information and you mention who's responsible for the action when you're using active. Passive, um, you give basically the same information in a different form, but you don't mention who's responsible for it. And you know that uh, uh, from, from sentences one to number six, they are in the simple present, seven, eight, and nine. They are in the simple past, so keep that in mind. So from number one to number six, you have to use the passive voice in present, seven, eight, and nine. You still have to use passive, but you have to use it in past. Now, what are the three forms of verb to be in present? Am um, is are. Am um, is are. And if simple I, present. Present progressive, in present perfect, and present perfect. Okay, uh, okay so what, those are tenses. If we're talking about verb to be, the three forms of verb to be in present, um, the answer is am, is, are. What are the two forms that we have in past? Past and words. Past and words. words. Past and what, if, what if you're using um, present perfect? Uh, the auxiliary have is are okay but what oh, is the no, what is no. the form of present verb perfect. to be yeah. in, in present perfect subject the auxiliary have or has and the complement okay we're missing something there what 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 are we missing in that structure he just shared verb verb to be so what the is verb. the form of verb to be Bean. 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 B E E N. Yes. So I have been here for 45 minutes. I have been here for the last eight years. So you have to use bean when you're using the present perfect. Okay. Yeah. So are the instructions clear? So the, the worksheet gives you the sentence in the active. Your mission is to uh, uh, change it to the passive form. 
So I'm going to assign you to work in pairs. And so you know what to do with, uh, with each exercise. So here we go. Internet is kind of bad today. <laughs> <laughs> 